Now, U.S. President Barack Obama has honored journalists who have reported from hot spots around the world despite danger and persecution uh, by the governments who want to silence their voices. On Friday, Mr. Obama invited to the White House three such courageous journalists, including VOA's Fatima Tlisova, as part of his observance of World Press Freedom Day, which was marked on Sunday. VOA's Latiza Hawk reports. President Obama met on Friday with Vietnamese journalist D.U.K., Ethiopian Lili Mengesha, and Russian Fatima Tlisova. All three were harassed, jailed, and even tortured for exposing the truth their governments are trying to conceal. Journalists give uh, all of us as citizens uh, the chance to know the truth uh, about our countries, ourselves, our governments. Uh, that makes us better, it makes us stronger, uh, it gives voice to the voiceless, uh, exposes injustice, uh, and uh, holds leaders like me accountable. Tlisova said during the emotional meeting, Mr. Obama gave her a handwritten letter for her parents, praising her courage. The Russian journalist was detained, threatened, and tortured for reporting on the brutality of Russian military operations in the North Caucasus, as well as disappearances and corruption. Situation with um, press freedom is in Russia is deteriorating rapidly. Um, most of the media outlets are controlled by uh, the government. Uh, the uh, independent voices are uh, lesser and lesser. Journalists are being killed, arrested, intimidated. Censorship is high, and the message sent by the uh, killing of journalists to other journalists is so strong that uh, the press starts to um, self-censoring itself as a mean of survival. President Obama said the right to express oneself and one's conscience without danger is a universal human right that the United States will continue to defend. Zlatica Hoke, VOA News, Washington. We want to know what you think about Africa 54 and the stories we cover. Join the conversation on Facebook. The address is Africa 54. And check out our headlines 24-7 on voaafrica.com.